Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. Now I'll level with you, I wasn't expecting to be in the centre of Peterborough today, but Anna has sprung on me that she had a hair appointment. I don't think she did necessarily spring it on me. She may have mentioned it a couple of days ago and I completely forgot. But all my plans to finish off the studio today have been thrown by the wayside. I've just brought her into town. Now I've got to find a way to keep myself amused while she's having her hair cut. I don't, how long does a haircut take? I don't know what's going on. And then later on today, we've got to take Andy over to his respite care. So it's suddenly become a week that started with me getting really, really ahead in all my work. I've made, aside from the vlog, one video in the last two days. And that was me opening Panini World Cup stickers. So it's all gone a little bit wrong on the second half of the week, as it often does. But fingers crossed, I can find somewhere over here to sit down and eat my Marks and Spencer's anti-pasty selection that I've just purchased. It's the only healthy snack I could find while I hang around and wait for her. And then hopefully we're home in plenty of time to get it sorted out, get Andy off to his respite care, because then we have a first for these respite care weekends. Because for as long as we've been having them, which is pretty much for as long as this channel has been running, I think we had our first respite care session on a video. But Previously, they've all always either involved the girls being with us and us doing something fun with them, or me and Anna going away somewhere, whether it's to a convention or this weekend. Last year, we went to Lincoln for the weekend. This year, we have nothing like that planned. We're just gonna be at home. There is a new video game out, A Way Out, it's called. It's a co-op video game. We're gonna be streaming it over the, on the Twitch channel for the next couple of nights. So come and check that out, twitch.tv slash lelujofm. But, other than that, it's going to be a really, really relaxed and quite weird weekend. I don't really remember there ever being a time, since me and Anna have known each other, where we're just home alone in the house for any period of time without any kids at all there. It's going to be weird. I've been just sort of wandering around for like half an hour. I am actually running away now though from just the centre of Peterborough for the very first time since we've been doing this healthy eating kick. Everywhere I look, I'm massively tempted. I don't know if it's because I'm on my own. I don't know if it's because I'm bored. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, maybe the anti-pasty thing that I had from Marks and Spencer's. Maybe there was a little bit of sugar in it or something that's just fired me off. I've got a little bit of a headache. Really want a cup of coffee, but I went for water to put up the more sensible thing to do. But walking past Greg's was difficult. Walking past Millie's cookies was difficult. It's not been difficult at any point up until now, and it's been going, it's over a month at this point. I mean, we started, we didn't do it for Lent, but we started the day after Pancake Day, so by the time we get to Easter, which is a week today, that'll be 40 days. So, it's like 30, 32, 33 days at this point, and this is the first time it's been difficult. So, rather than giving in, I'm gonna run away, and I'm gonna go and sit in the car near where Anna is. sat outside Anna's college where she's having the haircut for nearly an hour now. I did nip and get a coffee from McDonald's. That's all I got. I'm not craving bad food anymore. Very proud of myself for running away. I do need Anna to hurry up though because I'm supposed to be taking a phone call at one o'clock. It's half past twelve now. She's been in there nearly two hours. It's never taken me two hours to have my hair cut. And us men don't get to make appointments. We just walk in. Over two hours later, here she comes. Now remember, tell her her hair looks nice, even if she's completely bald. But I can't actually see it yet, she's still too far away. Hello. Hi. It's curly. It is. Have you had a perm? No. <laughs> That's a straight one. I see, it's the same colour as it was before. Tuesday. Hold on. <laughs> so you're telling me you've been in there over two hours and they've just cut it. You have? Been in there an hour, 49 minutes. True. It is, I didn't leave. Well, I left the car two hours ago. 
and they just were cutting your hair all that time yes Kevin, you didn't have that much hair but they're training so they have to make sure it's right and then they have to get it checked and then she's like, like curl it i was like well first she said do you want me i went put it on and then she said do you want to curl it i was like do we want splendid so i go up on tuesday uh, it'll be yellow oh, it'll be caramel I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the colour caramel. Cut caramel is a food. Not no, a it's a colour. So it'll be caramel and then they might have to put a toner on it in case it goes a bit brassy. But I had a com... In case it what now? Goes a bit brassy. All right. But I had a com... Oh my God. Basically, it took a bit of my hair, put it in the dye and it was fine. So Splendid. I won't need that done because that would that normally takes like 45 minutes to develop. So on Tuesday you can bring me and just leave me and I'll try and make my own way home if I can. If I can because the bus, our buses are dreadful. Because then I won't have to sleep in the car like I have done for the last... You didn't have... Kevin, you missed you going on board. <laughs> that was like 40 minutes ago. Uh, okay. So you've been sleeping. I text bit. you like four times and nothing. I was having a nap. Nap in the car yeah. with children around. Well, there was no children in here. Right, we've got 10 minutes to get home. Because I have minutes. an important phone call at one o'clock. <laughs> Don't think we're going to get home. We're going to pull over on the road at two minutes to one and I'm just going to sit and wait for the phone to ring. We've been to the P.O. Box. It has been a little while since we've been to the P.O. Box, but first, this, I think, should be the game that me and you are going to be playing on Twitch all weekend. We'll see. No, we'll see. I've promised people we're doing it. A way out. You need to get that installed. So we'll oh be on. Oh my god, it's a massive game. Good. Um, so we've got this. Feels. No, it's a bulky thing in a flat package. It's... Oh, there's a few things, that's why. That's why I couldn't guess what it was from the shape. Stop. So. <laughs> um, it's a letter opener. No. With a note. Uh, from Jimmy, so you'll stop ripping everyone's letters from Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, I'm going to use this to open my next package. Yeah, Good job. It was multiple things. Well, I thought it was, but it was that and the receipt. Good job I didn't buy that sword I was going to get at Comic Con. Right, so here we go. I have a question. <clears throat> yeah. What have you done to your arm? It's all scratched up. Oh, I scratched it. With. Door. But not towards you, away from you. It'll be fine. He won't want you to This is awesome. Thank you, Jimmy. To Andy, enjoy your gift from Aaron Hudson. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I know what that is now. You sent me you sent us a message saying you were sending that, didn't you? Thank you, Aaron. So that's a thing for him to sit on or stand, stand on or do whatever he wants to do with it, I guess. He's used them at school. Yeah, he uses them every morning, doesn't he? It's part of his um, it's part of his morning activity thing that he does to get the blood flowing in the morning. They have oh, like it. yeah, big bouncy ball things, but also these as well. So I am sure he will like it. Thank you, Aaron. Very cool of you. Thank you. And now we need to get that game installed so we can stream tonight. Twitch.tv slash FM. Oh, I've had my hair done. We should go out. I gave you the option to go out, and you said no. I'm not going to a dirty local pub. We have a game to play. Hello. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. What did you do? I ate the I see. Have you got enough crisps on that plate, you think? Oh, are you hungry? <laughs> oh, that must yeah. be... That must be four or five bags of crisps. We're in the other room getting his stuff together to take to the respite place. So we were just hunting around in there loading stuff up. He said he was just going to have some crisps before he left. Clearly, he's making sure he can stay here for as long as possible. I think that's most of a six pack that's gone on there. Why has he got Dr Pepper? Where's that come from? This morning. That's still left open this morning? Oh, he's a rascal. Usual halfway stop on our journey then. McDonald's, obviously me and Anna are just gonna have a coffee. <laughs> Andy is Did gonna have... Hello, folks, and here we are. Did he really? Yeah. I don't know if you heard what Anna just said, but apparently Andy just said, hello, folks, and here we are. It's almost as if I say hello, folks, whenever I start a vlog. Um, I've, I've, he's thrown me off now, I don't know what I was saying. Um, all the way to this point in the car, which has been a good 20, 25 minutes. 
Um, he's, he's saying it now, in fact. He's convincing himself he's going to go up the stump again, which, because he did that last time he went to his respite place, it's difficult because we can't say yes or no and he always has to deal in absolutes. But we don't know if they're going to the stump tomorrow. And if they do, we don't know if they're going to be willing to go up it. We know we're not taking him up there on Sunday because I'm afraid of heights. I've done that once before, never again. Anna doesn't want to do it either. And uh, yeah, so he's kind of stuck in a loop of he wants to do it, but no one can say yes or no. We just say maybe, and he hates maybe. Even after that massive pile of crisps that he ate you're like 25 one. minutes ago well done. Well done. he's still getting stuck into this Did he? so he must have had like six packets of crisps before we left home he's got red pop as well i got him to choose and he chose red so he's got red pop so some calories in there as well the danger of course is eating all this before he goes he's not going to eat anything at all for the first 12 hours he's there and then we're going to get a phone call again um for those of you keeping the score all me and anna have is coffee because we're still following the rules <laughs> I think Andy wants you to be fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to ruin Mummy's diet. <laughs> Andy, is that good? Yeah. Happy now? Hey. Um, me and yeah, we're on our way now. There's no angry men looking out the window this time either, which is a difference from the last time we were here. Do you remember the angry man? past 11 at night me and Anna have just done a joint stream over on the twitch channel uh, playing a way out that was absolutely brilliant fun we're only about two hours into what's about a six hour game so there'll be plenty of time for you to come and catch tomorrow night's stream this vlog comes out at five o'clock ish we'll be starting streaming again not long after that tomorrow so pretty much head over to the twitch channel now if you want to see the rest of that stream it was loads of fun and it was really cool to see some of you guys there plus we're quite happy to answer any of the questions um, that you might have had if we'd have done a Q&A this weekend on this channel because I'm pretty sure we won't get a chance to do that unless we maybe do it Sunday morning let me know down in the comments would you rather do it in the twitch stream or maybe do something Sunday morning we'll figure something out anyway uh, if you have enjoyed today's vlog please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs thank you very much for watching <laughs>